Hi, my name is Erica, and today I want to talk about creating and uh, arranging menus for WordPress. Um, a lot of times your theme will have a space for a primary navigation and a sub-navigation, perhaps um, a navigation bar in the header. Um, so there are definitely ways to create multiples. Um, but first, let's just work on one. As you can see here, I have one already built. Um, and it looks good and you can see I have my main uh, top menu and then I have drop downs so underneath of my about would be my recommendation under PR friendly would be you know my disclosure policy and that sort of thing um, if you want to see how that looks you can come on the front end of the site and you can see there and then see here so everything is tiered nicely and um, I have that set you know in my theme as that's the, the menu that I want to use. So now that we're back here, um, let's say we want to create a new menu. So you can see how to do this from the get-go. Okay, so let's name our menu. We have to click create menu. Then um, you want to go ahead and start adding stuff to it. Now you can see over here are pages that you can add. And by default, it's going to show the most recently updated pages or things that you've used the most. Um, you may not want every page on your blog. Um, for me, I like to switch to this View All tab because it will actually show them um, in line the way I've created them. Like if I've made something like the thanks or the subscription complete a sub page of something it will show that here so it's kind of makes things easier for me if I have multiple pages named the same thing especially. So let's just say I want to put home. Now this one is created um, automatically. You don't have to have a page called home um, in your WordPress blog. This just automatically creates. So select whatever that you want to put in here um, let me just grab a couple of things, build a menu, and then you click add to the menu. Okay, and once you've added items to the menu, then you can come over and just drag and drop. You just click on it, drag it, and drop it. Okay, and besides for pages, you can also add categories. Now this would be cool if you had, um, you know, a bunch of different topics on your blog that you want to talk about. Now of course you can add them right across the top line or down the side with your navigation. Um, but if you were wanting to create, um, like say, a drop down for categories or topics, you can create a custom link. Um, just put your blog link in here. like this, and then put the pound sign after it. And what that does is it tells that link, if somebody clicks on it, to not go anywhere. It's basically just a placeholder, okay? And I'm gonna write topics here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to categories, and I wanna add just a bunch of things to that. And I said add to menu. Alrighty, and then I'm going to put these things under the topics menu. Now that that's done, I can still move this around and it will actually move all of them with it. So if I want to put that under the about so that it shows up next, I can do that. I could even put it under home or under contact, but I don't want to. So I'm just going to put it there. Whenever you're done adding stuff to your menu, click save menu. All right, and now you've created a brand new menu. Um, and if you have more than one menu, you can come up here and swap between them. And you can get back to your other menus. And that's how to create a menu in WordPress.